Hello and thank you for your interest in Nash University Academy. I'm just going to quickly go over our Compass Learning Odyssey uh, instructional platform. This allows students to access their uh, assignments from home, uh, take their quizzes from home, and correspond with their teacher from home to get feedback during the day. I'm going to start off and, and go ahead and log in as one of my active students. And you'll notice that after I put in the username and password, I want to make sure that the school designation says NUAS for our school. Otherwise, it'll kick back and ask you to log in again. So once I'm in, I can see my dashboard here. It has my, my the assignments that I've been given by my teacher if I'm the student. And I can look at my backpack here. I'm not going to open the backpack because that's going to give student grade information. Um, I can open it just to show you. Uh, let's see, good, there are no visible scores. Um, so I can see here what the student completed. I can, if I click on today, that'll give me some, some actual scores and some information on what the student completed with some great information. I'm not going to click on that because the student is active with us. Uh, I can then go into a class and show you what the instruction looks like. From here, I can see that there's a test the student needs to take. I can go into a class and give you an idea of what the instruction looks like. So I will quiet down here and have you watch this briefly. Hey there, this is Jason. And today you and I are going to go on a little journey. We're going to be taking a look at electrons and modern atomic theory. I know, sounds like a big concept, but I'll try and nail it down for you. So let's go. Alright, to get us started, I'm going to have my friend here give us a little introduction to the Bohr model of the atom. Niels Bohr was actually a scientist who made some major discoveries about the atom. He looked a lot at how the atom is put together and how it works. Here, I'll let my friend fill you in. So that first introduction section, you can't pause. It just gives you a, a quick overview. It'll go into more detail here. And you'll notice what's nice about it is you have the listing of your key concepts under where it says the big picture. Then it'll start to detail things for you under the overall topic heading, the Bohr model on this side. So I'm going to play a short section of this so you can get a feel for it. And I'm going to go back and show you a few more things about how to um, get to the quizzes and the folders. Scientists wanted to know how the particles moved within an atom. Niels Bohr proposed the Bohr model in 1913. Let's take a look at a diagram of his model. In Bohr's model, the electrons travel in defined circular orbits around the nucleus. This was also known as the planetary model because it was similar to the planets orbiting the Sun. Each level has a certain amount of energy associated with it. When a specific amount of energy is absorbed, an electron can jump to a higher level. When the electron falls back to a lower level, energy in the form of light is released. Keep that in So you get an idea of the direct instruction there. I'm going to go ahead and give you an idea of the what the quizzes look like. Go back out to... Let me stay in physical science here. So let's look at um, this nucleus quiz. Here I can, if I want to as the student, I can go ahead and go in before I, I watch the activity on the nucleus. I can go ahead and take a look at the quiz. Maybe take some notes, uh, and notes are 20% of the grade for NUA students. So I want to see that they're really using and maximizing their uh, note-taking skills. But they would take some notes on the quiz questions. And then before, without turning it in, just exit. Then go back and watch the video on the nucleus. Get some more detailed information there. That way the student's preparing themselves for the quiz. Now in a traditional classroom, I would do this by presenting the information and going over possible things that I would test the student on and, and highlight key information. Uh, so it's important for the student to take that step to know what's on the quiz. The student can also then come out here. They can email their teacher from this community tab or enter a code to retake a quiz or a test or go back to a particular assignment. So I hope this has helped you get an idea of what Compass Learning looks like. This is a very short introduction. I'd be happy to go over more with you. Uh, let's um, try to meet soon. Talk to you later. Bye.